My name is Jeremy. And I'm Alana. And we're members of a new program at our school called CSEP. CSEP stands for Citizen Science Education Program. Now I'm sure you've all heard of Citizen Science Programs, but CSEP is a bit different. CSEP is a science education program for the citizens of our community. We make presentations on science topics and then go out into the community to bring the scientific literacy of our citizens. Jacob and Ayana will be giving a presentation to the Boy Scouts this month. Andre and his crew are producing a video that will be shown to 7th and 8th graders. Evan and Danielle are making a PowerPoint that will be shown to 6th grade students. Kane, Deirdre, and their group will be talking to district teachers. Nicole and Mackenzie will be presenting to the Board of Education. Eddie, Matt, Preston, and Erica will be teaching the general public. Although we can teach the community about any science topic, as the founding members of CSEP, we have chosen to focus on climate change. In fact, we have decided that climate change will be the focus of CSEP classes for the next three to seven years. Well, hey guys, we do more than presentations. Right now, we are creating a website with science facts tailored to our community. Tanner is one of our webmasters. And for our education, we work with the GLOBE program in Weatherbug Achieve. Weatherbug Achieve is an interactive software program teachers and students can use to learn more about weather. The data is real-world, real-time, and collected from the world's largest network of lightning and weather sensors. You don't need a Weatherbug weather station to participate, but we are fortunate to have one at our school. I suppose our program would be perfect for our Teen Climate Summit project. What a better way to help mitigate and adapt to the effects of climate change than to have a community-wide education program. But we decided, in addition to our normal CSERP responsibilities, we would start another long-term project aimed at climate change, education, and energy sustainability. It's called Weatherbug Home. Let's look at the Weatherbug Home commercial that debuted during the Super Bowl. Yeah, it was ranked third among all commercials, behind Doritos, and the Budweiser Puppy, and Clydesdales. Enjoy! When you don't have Weatherbug Home, you get depressed. When you get depressed, you eat junk food. When you eat junk food, you gain weight. When you gain weight, you go to the gym. And when you go to the gym, accidents can happen. When accidents happen, you visit the doctor and you get a bill. Which means you now have two bills. Weatherbug Home. When you want a happy ending. So, what exactly is Weatherbug Home? 50% of your energy use is driven by the weather. But how many of you actually adjust your thermostat to reflect daily changes in key weather variables. Weatherbug Home does. They can determine when to best heat and cool your home. They can remotely control the thermostat in your house with the touch of a button and make adjustments based on that day's weather. The data comes directly from Weatherbug, the world's largest weather network. The result? Homeowners can save energy while staying comfortable. And utility companies can improve operations and boost efficiency. Sounds great, but how do we fit in? Well, we have two classes working on this project. Our class will be designing a campaign to encourage customers of our local utility company, PSE&G, to sign up for Weatherbug Home. Why aren't customers already signed up? It hasn't been offered in our state yet. The only places where Weatherbug Home is being used is in San Diego, California, and Houston, Texas. Do you really think we can convince customers to sign up? I think so. Customers can set the temps they want on the thermostat and let Weatherbug do the rest. There's a home energy efficient card, and there's no hardware or software to install. I've seen the scorecard. It shows how energy efficient you are compared to similar homes in your neighborhood. Plus, it gives you a forecast as to how much energy you'll probably use in the next month. It also tells you about the sun absorption, wind resistance, and the insulation of your home. The scorecard gives you tips on which areas you can improve. Who wouldn't want to use Weatherbug Home? I know, right? But what's our goal? Can we finish this before the end of the year? No, we can only get the project started. Future CSEPers will have to carry the torch. A realistic goal would be to sign up 2,000 customers by the end of 2014, with an additional 8,000 to 10,000 by the end of 2015. Goals beyond that will have to be set by future CSEPers. Wait a second, we got two teams on this project. What's the other team doing? You'll just have to watch your video to find out. <laughs> 